What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Double Dribble. In today's episode, I want to talk about Imani Bates and if he's going to be leaving Memphis after this season. Uh, they just lost to Gonzaga last night, actually, when I'm recording this video. Um, I just want to talk about whether he's going to leave Memphis, if he's going to come back for another year, or really, you know, in my opinion, I think he only has two options. So in this video, we'll talk about those two options, what those are, um, and what they'll mean for him moving forward. Before we get into the video, though, I just want to quickly say, if you're a fan of basketball, whether it be high school, college, or the NBA, you know, make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the conversation. We love interacting with you guys in the comment section, so make sure you leave those all down below. You know, make sure you hit the like button this video, uh, share with your friends, and let's get right into the video. So like I said, in today's video, I want to talk about Imani Bates and what I think he'll be doing after the season, because uh, the season just ended. Uh, they just lost to Gonzaga. Um, last night as I'm recording this video um, and I want to kind of talk about his uh, options going forward uh, what I think he will do um, and what these uh, kind of two main options he really has in my opinion uh, what they'll mean for him and what they will uh, kind of do to his draft stock moving forward first I want to talk about the very disappointing year Imani Bates had this year in his freshman year um, with Memphis um, he had a very disappointing year to say the least. Uh, he only played in 18 total games. He kind of had a whole debacle situation where he was injured but wasn't injured. It was his dad kind of taking him out of school but he wasn't out of school. It was this whole situation. He ended up missing uh, over 12 games and then came back um, and played in the NCAA tournament. The first game he only played like three and a half minutes. And then the second game, he played like 10, I believe, or tw 10 to 12 minutes, something like that, against Gonzaga, because uh, they're in foul trouble and kind of needed him. Um, he in those 18 games, he started 13 of them. Um, he only he averaged 23.4 minutes per game. Um, he averaged 9.7 points per game, 3.3 rebounds, and 1.3 assists. Uh, he averaged 0.3 blocks and 0.6 steals per game to go along with that. He did this while shooting 38.6% from the field and then a measly 32.9% from three on 4.2 attempts per game. He also shot only 64.6% .6 from the free throw line. And then another major downfall is he averaged 2.3 turnovers per game to only 1.3 assists. Uh, so at an extremely poor uh, assist to turnover ratio. Um, and just overall had an extremely disappointing year. Um, he, had a, he had a ton of hype coming into the year. You know, a lot of players think he's going to be one of the best players in college basketball. Uh, he's going to just put on a scoring clinic and, uh, you know, kind of things like that. Uh, but I think one of the major issues or one of the big red flags is when they had their kind of pro day um, and, and all his, you know, kind of athletic stats came in. Um, and he had a, basically an extremely short wingspan, a terrible vertical, um, and, you know, many other things. I think that was the biggest red flag that he was going to kind of have a, have a struggling season this year. Um, and that it was going to take a lot for him to adjust. Um, and that's one thing you could tell. He just was not able to adjust to the speed of college basketball, the physicality of college basketball. Um, just really, you know, adjust to it all in general. It did not look like he felt... Uh, comfortable in any of the games it didn't look like he uh, really knew exactly what to do or he, that he was very unsure of himself unsure of um, of what to do and, and things like that and I think that uh, one of the biggest issues too was with the you know kind of role or the situation that Penny Hardaway put him in I think that was not a not a situation or a spot to allow him to exceed uh, or sorry to allow him to be successful and really show what he can do on the basketball court but that's for a different video today I just want to talk about if he will be leaving Memphis after this year or if uh, he will decide to stay so in my opinion I think that he really only has two you know two things that he can do or two uh, you know kind of possibilities and that's either to return to Memphis for one more year and then try to go to the draft or it is to to leave Memphis and go to the G League I don't really think uh, going to another college basketball program uh, will really help his draft stock or be a, another good situation for him. I think that he needs to either stick it out at Michigan and play his one more year and then try to go to the draft, or he needs to go to the to leave Memphis and join the, the G League Unite team or another G League team um, and uh, try to get drafted going that route. I don't think uh, him leaving and going to another college program uh, will really work out. I think that uh, it would just be another tough situation for him, a tough fit. Uh, with everything that happened with him at Memphis, I feel like that will kind of be, 
lingering around and lingering um, at the next school. The whole situation with his like his dad trying to get him to leave Memphis and leave school, uh, but they're trying to cover it up with saying he's injured and that the dad wanted to take him to their own doctors. I think all that will really just kind of linger around. Um, because these other schools might not know the whole truth and whatever Imani and his family says, they might in the back of the heads not believe it. I don't know. I just think that going to a different school won't really solve any of his issues or solve any of his problems uh, that he currently had at Memphis. And I think that that is just a, a poor idea. You know, then he could stay at Memphis, try to work it out for another year. Uh, he's already been there, knows the place, knows the coaches, the, the program, the facility, everything like that. Uh, he's already familiar with it. And I think that if... You know, him and Penny can get on the same page, then I think he could have a good sophomore year um, and, you know, up all his play and play well and eventually get drafted. Uh, Mike was the whole plan going into this. And then the second option I believe he has is to, you know, leave Memphis and go to the G League. You know, I think that uh, he would better be situated in a pro system, in a pro league, um, where he's kind of able to just play more iso ball, score the ball, um, take difficult shots different things like that I think that he would excel more um, in the you know in the pro league or in the G league or something like that and something that's not in college where it's more of team basketball structured basketball different uh, different things like that and how much different the college game is I think that he would be uh, more suited at the pro level so what do I think Imani will do um, I don't know honestly at this point I really don't know there's been rumors around that he's gonna leave there's rumors that he's gonna stay um, I think people thought that he was kind of done after the whole situation with the injury and sitting missing 12 games and then all of a sudden he played in the first game in the NCAA tournament but only played three and a half minutes and then the next game he plays only like 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Um, I don't really know what is going, uh, what's kind of going through his head and his family's head. I would think that um, at this moment I think he will be leaning towards mo uh, leaving Memphis and trying to go someplace else or go to the G League. Um, and like I said, in my opinion, I think going to the G League uh, would be the best opportunity for him or the best place for him to be successful and eventually get drafted into the NBA. But I want to hear from all you guys in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts on it? What do you think you know, Imani will do after the season now um, and for his one more year before he can get drafted? So leave all that in the comment section down below. Make sure you hit the like on this video. Hit the subscribe button uh, and uh, share with your friends. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.